is going on everybody? How's it going? My name is Cody. We've got Lena over here. Hi. And of course we've got our guy Emmett. We're just out on a quick little walk, getting some exercise, letting Emmett stretch his legs. I think the plan this weekend is kind of as usual. We're going to hit up a couple thrift stores, see if we can find any cool stuff to resell online or just to keep for ourselves, things that we like. And then as far as entertainment goes, I think we're going to go check out downtown Cave Creek and see if we can get into anything cool this evening. So yeah, we don't really know. We're going to kind of play it by ear and see what this weekend brings. So we'll take you along with us and let's have some fun. Anybody remember this book? Walking out with three things. My hair is crazy. I'm actually going to get my hair cut right after this, which is why we stopped into this store, even though we have we were literally just there a couple days ago. Gee, that's what happens when I don't wear a hat. But yeah, stopped into that store, picked up three t-shirts. Oh yeah, check Hydrate this out. Hydrate yourself. Cody has his back there, but we're drinking all of our water. We even got this new giant water jug to promote hydration throughout the day. We're trying to make sure we're drinking enough water. It's easy for me. Got a couple good t-shirts in there. Quick little stop. And just trying to kill like another 30 minutes before I'm going to get my hair cut. So we'll uh, keep you updated. I've never been happier to see and we're you. Back. We are back, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think? Cody got his hair cut. Feeling good. You look amazing. You like it? My handsome devil, you. How we doing? What's up? Good. I've been waiting, <laughs> posting really weird Instagram stories. I said I wanted barbecue and beer. Hey, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Well, let's stop at one more store and then go home. Okay. There's store number two. Stoves. All right, so we made it back home and I want to quickly go through and show you everything that we found. So, you know, we're always on the lookout for a little bit of anything and everything, but as it turns out, this weekend, everything we picked up was clothing, which I'm perfectly fine with. You really just never know what you're going to find when you're out there sourcing. So, you know, it is what it is. So let's get into it. So the first thing I picked up, I got this parody t-shirt. It's like a comedy t-shirt. It's late 90s. It's got the little Taco Bell guy on here, the little Taco Bell Chihuahua, and it says, Yo Quiero Jesus. So it's a play on the Taco Bell old commercials. This was like a perfect shirt for Depop, honestly, and I, I imagine I could probably get like 30 bucks for it. Next, I picked up this very high quality, super nice cable knit, 100% wool zip up sweater. So this thing is made in Ireland. Um, always be on the lookout for 100% wool garments because they typically do pretty well. 
Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter what brand they are, but definitely keep an eye out for these things. So specifically this brand is, I believe it's pronounced Carrig Dawn, uh, made in Ireland, very thick. Obviously it's not the right season for this, but you never know, it's always cold somewhere, right? So I imagine I could probably get about 50 bucks for this guy. So as you saw, I came across a nice little stash of vintage t-shirts. So this was one of them. Very nice, it just says, The Lizard of Oz. It's very cute, got the purple saguaro cacti. So as you know, we live here in Arizona. We always find cute stuff like this and this stuff sells. So I would imagine 25, 30 bucks for this t-shirt here. Picked up this clockwork orange t-shirt. This is a movie. Um, some of these vintage t-shirts, if you look them up on eBay, they go for super good money. So this specific one right here, I think is early 2000s, just by looking at the old tag that's on here. I don't quite think it's 90s. It's not single stitch. It's on a sport club tag. Uh, there is one of these posted on eBay right now for $80, but that's listed, not sold. Uh, I honestly don't know the, the true value of this thing. I would imagine 50 to $75 but I will have to do a little bit more research to figure it out. It could go for potentially a tiny bit less. Got this 2007 Dave Matthews Band Tour t-shirt. So this is a double-sided. It's got all the tour dates on the back. It's on that uh, mid-2000s Anvil tag there. Uh, this is not huge money, but honestly, Dave Matthews Band was one of my favorite bands growing up, and I'm not gonna leave this behind for $2. I think I could probably get about 20 bucks for this. Got this super cool Tigger Winnie the Pooh t-shirt. It's a nice teal color. It's on the uh, Disney Store tag. So this is a Disney Store t-shirt. I think I can get about 30 bucks for this thing. A Winnie the Pooh stuff typically sells pretty well. I've sold a handful of it in the past. So this is a nice find here for two bucks. So this is a Bullwinkle t-shirt. So from the cartoon series, Rocky and Bullwinkle. I believe it was also a, uh, a comic book at one point as well. So this thing's super old. It's actually from the year 1991. Uh, it does have some stains on it, but honestly, it doesn't really matter. I think I could still sell this for about 25 to 30 bucks. I have actually found this exact shirt in the past. This was actually a Taco Bell promotional t-shirt. The one that I found previously had a Taco Bell logo on the back. This one's just blank, but still super cool, super old, Fruit of the Loom tag, 25 to 30 bucks all day. So this was a super cool find here. This is a vintage Led Zeppelin t-shirt, double-sided. It is from 1999, uh, double stitch, as you can see on the sleeve there. But yeah, it's super faded. You can barely see the dating on there, but it does say 1999, very awesome t-shirt. I honestly think I should be able to get like 60 to $80 for this t-shirt. So this was a really interesting find. Uh, I was actually looking through the women's section here. And what this is, it's a vintage, so this is from the 1990s. It's a Disney Store employee cardigan. So they would have issued these to employees who worked in the Disney stores. It's got this nice embroidered logo on it. It just says the Disney Store. It's got the Mickey Mouse logo. And this thing is just super cool. There are some listed comps on eBay ranging from like $150 to $300, I believe. Uh, there were a few sold for over $100. Bucks. So conservatively, I will say I should be able to get at least $100 bucks for this. It's a good size, size 3XL, uh, no holes, no stains. Some collector out there would definitely want to have this in their collection, so very exciting. As you can also see, I think it's super cool. You can see the two little eyelets where you can put your name tag in there, so very awesome. I picked up this super nice full zip vest here. It's got this nice like tribal print on it. Uh, nothing crazy, it's not, it is not like a name brand or at least not one that I've heard of. It's M.L. Williams, but it is made in USA, made in Oregon. 100% uh, polyester, but it is pretty nice and soft and in perfect condition. So I'm thinking I should be able to get about 30 bucks for this. So I actually got two pairs of this raw selvage denim. So the brand is actually Gustin, uh, made in California. I found two of these on the same rack, paid $6 for each pair. Believe it or not, I actually sold one of the pairs already for 60 bucks. So who knows, it sold almost instantly. I might've slightly undervalued it on eBay, but this is a very nice pair of Dark blue wash denim, made in USA. So yeah, they sell pretty well. So that's a that's a brand to look out for. I, I had never heard of this brand up until today, but it's called Gustin, as you can see right there. So keep an eye out for this brand. They sell very well. And for the find of the day, perhaps the find of our thrifting career so far, we got this amazing Disneyland all over print, single stitch 90s t-shirt. So. The story behind this one was, so we went to a couple Goodwills, 
and then we decided to stop at this super small town like mom and pop thrift store. I have been in this store one other time, so I knew that the owner of the store sells on eBay, so I honestly wasn't expecting to find anything too good in this store because anything worth good money, he's gonna pull that aside and try to sell it online. Uh, so I was just looking around, not honestly having much luck, and all of a sudden Lena walks up to me and just shows me this t-shirt here, and I instantly knew it was gonna be worth a ton of money. So I will give Lena all the credit for this one. She found the shirt, so super amazing. It's a uh, all over print Disneyland t-shirt. As you can see, it's got the fireworks, it's got the skyline, single stitch, absolutely amazing. It's on the vintage Disney tag. I have seen this tag before. I've come across a couple t-shirts with this tag. You would not believe some of the asking prices on eBay for this shirt. So currently listed on eBay, there are asking prices ranging from $1,300 all the way to $3,000 for this t-shirt. And I actually was able to find a couple sold comps for around $1,500 for this shirt. So conservatively, I think we'll be able to get at least a thousand dollars for this t-shirt. Believe it or not, it is absolutely crazy. The fact that this thing is worth over a thousand dollars is absolutely mind-blowing and we are just super thankful and grateful to have this in our possession. Absolutely amazing. Of course, there are a couple very small flaws on it. There's a really light yellow stain right here in the front and then the neckline is a little stretched out, but these are collector's pieces. It does not really matter if they have a little bit of wear. It's honestly just kind of to be expected with shirts of this age. But the fact that we paid $5 for this thing in a small mom and pop thrift store where they sell all the good stuff on eBay, absolutely shocking. But when I was doing some research on this shirt, I was able to find out that no two of these shirts are exactly alike. So although they are quite similar, the prints on each one are just ever so slightly different. So if you look up and zoom in at all the slight details of the different shirts that are online, they are all very slightly different, which just makes this shirt even more unique, more rare in my opinion. After thrifting heavy for over five years, this is definitely the most valuable pickup we've ever made, the most valuable item that we've ever thrifted. Absolutely wild. So I figured I would show you how I photograph some of my items, like t-shirts and things. We live in a pretty small place right now. We have a, an apartment. We will be moving out soon into a larger space, which we're super excited about, but this is how I do it. Just the easiest way for me. So I've got this just long roll of white vinyl here that I got at just a normal craft store, like a Joanne Fabric or something. Here's a t-shirt that we just found, that 1999 Led Zeppelin t-shirt. So I lay that thing out flat. We've got ring lights, so I got one right here. I've actually got two, as you can see. So there's our little setup, two ring lights. And I'm going to photograph these, and it turns out looking something like that. There we go, that simple. So we are here in historic frontier town in Cave Creek, Arizona. It is taking a step back into the Wild West. Oh, that's where we go. There's our cattle. Check this out. We're gonna get some barbecue. First time here.
of the frontier town cemetery. Read it. We gave him a fair trial and then hung him. <laughs> what else? That's the only joking one. I know. Remember they had more jokes earlier? Oh, that year? one says John Dale. His heart did fail. <laughs> <laughs> I like these things. That's the only funny ones. I've seen these old, or these like country cemeteries where they look, but they have like a whole bunch of funny jokes on, jokes on them, but. Sayings on it. Mm -hmm. Put your head in here. No, put it in. Oh God. There we go. that's going to do it for this video everybody thank you so much for watching if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and liking the videos and we will catch you on the next one see ya